the LeBron James free agency bonanza has begun. We've talked about this before. Uh, I'll be making a video series about this. Um, it's going to be crazy, man. Like the video I said before, Horace Grant Durant fucked everything up. So um, there's several teams LeBron James can go to. Um, today I'm going to start off with Cleveland, okay? Why I think he should go to the Cleveland Cavaliers and why he shouldn't go to the Cleveland Cavaliers. First of all, why should he go? Obviously, that's his team. Um, the economy depends on him. He's a local boy. He's got a lot of charitable organizations there. And uh, so many people depend on that man there. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I've been to Cleveland with LeBron there, and when he's not there, and let me tell you something, it's a big fucking difference, man. <laughs> You're talking about, you know, it's a party town when, when Cleveland uh, has a game that night and LeBron's playing. But when he's not there, whether it's a game or not, it looks like a fucking ghost town. There's so many damn bordered up buildings, you don't know what to do. It looks like uh, the apocalypse hit down in Cleveland, okay? Uh, <laughs> but LeBron James means so much to that area. Um, he kind of feels obligated, if you know what I mean. And uh, I know he, he came back and fulfilled a promise uh, when he won the championship. Uh, the sidekick helped him hit a three-point shot. But other than that, LeBron James carried the weight. Uh, he's the man. He won the finals MVP. Kevin Love, he's a sidekick, too. He helped out. And we were uh, fortunate enough for the NBA to let <laughs> LeBron James and him come back from a 3-1 deficit from the 73-9 and cheaters. Uh, the, uh, the, excuse me, the Warriors then. But uh, at the end of the day, uh, Cleveland doesn't have the personnel to keep up with the West. And to be honest, if they stand pat and don't do anything, Boston's going to beat them. Because when Gordon Hayward, the leader, the man, comes back, and, you know, the sidekick I talked about earlier is going to come back too, even though he'll hinder Terry Rozier's growth. Um, you know, Terry Rozier can get some rest because he got uh, the backstabber, you know, playing some minutes too. Uh, Boston's going to be hell, man. Jason Tatum's going to be stronger. He's going to be better. Jalen Brown's a tandem. Al Horford's going to be good, and the rest of them, that, that bench and stuff is going to learn from that playoff experience. It's going to be very hard to beat the Boston Celtics, and they won't beat uh, Boston, Cleveland, if they stand pat and keep this uh, this roster. They, they won't. So they're going to have to make some major moves, and the only way LeBron James can stay in Cleveland, I'm going to be honest, he has to get two, and I mean two major free agents. I'm talking about the likes of Paul George, Kawhi Leonard, DeMarcus Cousins, Anthony Davis, some kind two of a combination of those kind of players. And uh even in their and their salary cap is crazy, man. They're way over the salary cap. Let me tell you the players they gotta get they gotta get they gotta get rid of. They gotta get rid of Tristan, the Thot King Thompson, Tristan, Chloe Kardashian Thompson, Tristan talking all that shit and ain't backing it up with his play Thompson. They gotta get rid of that motherfucker. Okay? I trade him for DeAndre Jordan. I trade Kevin Love the Choke. DeAndre Jordan, to be honest, straight up, I would. Okay, get me, give me DeAndre Jordan alongside LeBron James. Give me Paul George and Anthony Davis or or somebody that ilk, Kawhi Leonard, or somebody, and um, and still do it because I know you think that's an OP team or whatever. But remember, the Cheaters got four fucking All Stars, and that's why I said Kevin Horace Grand Durant fucked the NBA up. All right, so should I think LeBron should stay with Cleveland? My heart says yes and no because of the economy. At the end of the day, it's LeBron James's uh, prerogative. Uh, those are some of the reasons he should, some of the reasons he shouldn't. But at the end of the day, uh, it all depends on who comes to Cleveland. If they do not make moves, they don't have a fucking snowball chance in hell, and y'all know that. Okay? So here's the thing. If, And here's another thing. I think Mike Brown's contract comes come, goes away, but last year, this past year, Cavs are paying three fucking uh, coaches, all right? Mike Brown, David Blatt, and Tyron Loser, okay? Uh, I don't know what the, what it, how much far the contract got to go with Mike Brown, but if his contract comes up, I don't care if you got to pay David Blatt and Tyron Loser. You got to get rid of Tyron Loser. I'm sorry. You have to if he wants to stay in Cleveland. Don't give a shit what y'all talking about. Because that stupid-ass offense is doing way too much work for LeBron, and he's playing too much, um, too many minutes. And it's cost him his uh, his legacy. Keep losing in, uh, to the finals, to the same fucking team. So uh, I think they definitely got to make some moves for him to stay. But at the end of the day, uh, it's going to be tough to beat the cheaters anyway. But if they need or want LeBron James, they have got to fire Tyron Loser, and they got to get some uh, new players and some new personnel. All right, let me know what you guys think. You know the drill. Leave me a comment if you like it, uh, or if you don't like it. And I'll get into that in a second. 
Tell me why you like it. Hit the, hit the like button. Share it with people because you know if you like something, you tell people about it. Uh, if you're new to the channel, hit the, you know, if you're new to the channel, subscribe. Only if you like it, okay? But if you don't like the video, you know what you can do. If you don't, you don't? Okay, let me tell you. Hit the dislike button. Comment. Tell me why. Tell me how shitty this video is. Say he shouldn't stay in Cleveland or whatever. Tell me how stupid I am. Like I said, hit the dislike button and don't tell anybody shit. All right? Because you know I don't know what I'm talking about, right? According to you, because if you say that, then I, I don't know what I'm talking about, right? If you think that, guess what? I don't give a damn. Holla at your boy. Peace.